I appreciate um, Bill leading us in the Lord's Prayer. It's something we don't do very often anymore. I remember doing it more often as a child in church when the congregation would pray together. One of the things I remember as a child is uh, Dad singing the Lord's Prayer to us before we went to sleep. I have no idea how often he did this, but it's stuck with me all these years. The Lord's Prayer points our hearts toward, and thoughts toward God the Father, the source of all good things uh, that we've been blessed with. And one of the greatest blessings is when His will was done on earth as it is in heaven. When He sent His Son to die on the cross for the payment of the penalty that we owe because of the sins that we have committed. And we remember this every time we participate in communion. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23, we read, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed to bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, search our hearts. Purify us and forgive us from our sins. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.